Hello, everyone. Welcome to the part three edition of our movie marathon here. Uh, a Tom, a pop preacher, and fat man, a little boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm just a fucking man. <laughs> What's your name? Tell the people Juan. your name. And we are here to, to talk about... That's but my, obviously that, we're not going to talk about it as good Aquaman. as if there was a woman Aquaman. That, that is that is that is my uh that's my underwater voice but because i'm not atlantean so i can't speak underwater like they can i'm really upset still all right so here's the deal guys Aquaman. and we walked in right to a movie that's going to hit the point what, what do you mean walking Aquaman was a bumbling, stupid fucking idiot. Wait, wait, stop, and stop. And Mara stop. saves everybody. Stop, 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 stop. No? No, no, guys. All okay, right, listen, we're, so, here, okay. we're here to talk about Aquaman. Huge spoilers, guys. If you haven't seen the movie and you want to see the movie, uh, press stop right now and then come back and watch us a little there. Um, Aquaman, uh, right out the gate, I think it was great. I thought it was terrible. We need to talk about something right out way, though. It's is really this, important Is, is this Aquaman versus Mara? No, no, no. This is something else. What is it? Do you know what my absolute favorite pop song of the 80s is? Oh, my God. This is totally unrelated, but go ahead. Africa. Afri is that really your favorite? Yeah. I Toto thought it was Boys Toto. of Summer. Boys of Summer is there, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Africa's top five. <laughs> okay. That remake in this movie. The Pitbull? The Pitbull. You didn't, you didn't even know it was Africa until right, the chorus came in. because it was that bad. But I knew it was because I heard the... Right. Dun, 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 yeah, so you knew what was coming. I knew what it was. I and, knew it was Africa. And the minute, Plus, they were in the Sahara. The minute that Spoiler, I heard... Guys. Yeah, the yeah. minute that I heard that chorus, I, we'll, we'll, we'll get the, we'll, I was... Uh, it was an assault. <laughs> so here's the... Did you like that? No, I didn't. That was... Do you like Africa, the song? I do like the song, Africa. <laughs> And I don't like the Weezer remake of it. No, because we, Weezer didn't do anything to it. They didn't. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. Here we go, guys. Aquaman is getting actually really good reviews from people. Um, it's certified fresh. If you guys give a fuck about that, I I certainly don't. Rotten Tomatoes could go suck my dick. Um, but uh, so, uh, it is DC's latest incarnation in a post Justice League world, and we all know Justice League got shat on hardcore by critics and fans alike. Um, and it was also really the full cinematic debut of the character of Aquaman. We saw a little bit of Mera in Justice League. And uh, here we go. So um, they were filming Aquaman when Justice League came out, guys. So in the in the wrath of the critics and fans of Justice League, I'm sure they made some adjustments to Aquaman while filming. The director is James Wan, uh, best known for directing Furious 7 or Fast 7, whatever it's called. Yeah, one of the Fast and the Furious movies. And you definitely saw a lot of those Fast and Furious tones in this movie, I think. A lot of big action sequences, some of the music choices. <laughs> um, at, overall, though, let's talk about Aquaman. Jason Momoa, I, was, I wasn't on board with him. I didn't like him in Justice League. I loved him in this movie. I, I don't like him at all as Aquaman now. I, I think he was great as Aquaman. I, I, I am on board. I'm on board for his surfer. I'm I'm in a bar drinking, you know, and I just don't give a fuck demeanor and but I'm cool at the same it's, time. Um it's it's the king, right? This is the king of uh Atlantis. Now he has spoilers. Right. Yep. And uh come he's he's basically uh there to protect his people, always intelligent, always trying to avoid war, always searching for the diplomatic way in, in the comics. Which I think he tried to do that here, in, too. In comics. The whole reason why he he pursued the throne was to stop war. Here, he is just a dumb fucking frat boy who's stumbling his way through life after the fucking Justice League ends. Uh, I don't. I don't think that. I think he's just trying to get by. He's just trying. To, he's trying. He's a to, dumb frat boy. He's trying to do the right thing when applicable, but at the same time, and he they wants show to be that because alone. he meets some fans in a bar and they want to take selfies, and they show all the dumb drunk shenanigans that Aquaman gets into because that's just that they're just trying to be funny and get right. some laughs out of the audience. Mira, Mira wasn't a drunk fat frat boy though. She was. She was the one pulling the strings across the whole fucking ocean, making sure the world was saved and dragged Aquaman along. Uh, including uh, Green Goblin. What's his name? Guy played Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. He was part of it, too. He was excellent. Yeah. But thank God for Mera. 
Mara, played by Amber Heard, I think that's her name. Yeah, beautiful Gorgeous. Woman. Absolutely gorgeous. A lot of people criticized her wig, saying it looked like something from Party Party City. Sure. But I think she looked amazing. Yeah, I'll take a redhead, even a Party City redhead. Yeah, and Aquaman made a, made a redhead joke, which I thought was pretty funny. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he does, makes jokes while Mara saves the world. Uh, I, I, thought, I thought the movie was really good. It did have some downsides to it. Uh, the music at times was bad. The Africa by, by, uh, by Pitbull was not good. Uh... What? Offensive. It was not good. <laughs> it was Offensive not good. to people that like music. I would have preferred more like traditional Moroccan music or something during that time. I would have been okay uh, with the original Toto. Just have Toto. Why Pitbull? Uh, you could have done that too, yes. Uh, how about the mute, the song during Black Manta's <laughs> Let Me Build My Armor? Section. The montage, like what, what? What? I felt like I felt like we were watching Rocky Four, and it's like you're yeah. the best, you're the best. When he's like training, it and was, was awful. I, I'm just like, what is happening right now? <laughs> it was awful. Now, um, I thought Willem Dafoe was great, like you said. Yeah. Ocean Master was excellent. X, and he looked every look. Everyone looked excellent. Yeah, yeah. The look Everybody of the movie was looked great. And I remember reading articles before the movie came out, and people were talking about the look. And the director basically said, I. They, they, they were saying how closely everything looked to the comic book. And he was like, you know, some of these movies try to reinvent the wheel here. Why? It's perfect already right. in the books. Um, and it shows. Ocean uh, Master Ocean looks Master just was, like the book. Was, was excellent. The guy that played him, great. Great, yeah. And yeah. Uh, and Black Manta was really good, too. Black Manta, solid. Solid, yeah, well solid. done. The pirate, and, and, and he looked amazing. We've all seen the way he looked, the way he functioned, the way he fought was great. That scene. And Mera looked excellent, Mera by looked, Mera does. If you guys read the comics, Mera looks like Mara, Mara looks exact, Mara, yeah. Mara looks great. Oh, oh, hey, Damien, do you like the way Mara looks in the Aquaman movie? He said, except for the wig, bad the wig. Wig, but whatever. Sex Panther would sex, know. Sex Panther would know. Sex Panther would know. I love it. We just we just gave him a, we just gave him a new name. So we have Batsy and we have Sex Panther. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, um. Also, Aquaman once once they give him his uh, his costume, I'm oh, surprised they went there. Looked great, looked so good, yeah. so good. And yeah, Dolph Lundgren, so great. Speaking of Rocky IV, great. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm a big Dolph Lundgren fan. I was glad to see him in the movie. Uh, it's already like blown the box office off in China. It's gonna do good here in the states. We're gonna get a sequel. I think they already greenlit an Aquaman too, based on the results in China. Yeah, I um, I just wasn't into it, man. It wasn't a bad movie, to me. I don't think it was a bad movie. I just, uh, it wasn't a good movie. I just middle of the road for me, man. I mean, listen, it's it wasn't as good as Infinity War. I don't think it was better than Ant Man and Wasp. I I feel Wonder Woman. We were having this. I feel Wonder Woman's better still. As far as DC movies concerns, no, it is not better. Wonder it, Woman. It is, it is better than Wonder Woman. If you take away Wonder Woman's third act, that's a huge part of the movie. Like, yeah. listen, I can watch Aquaman from start to finish and be okay with it. Once the third act happened and she started fighting uh, Ares, Ares and 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 Steve Trevor goes up in the plane and blows up and all that, like I'm. And and the garbage flying in the no. in the sky again. It looked like I felt like I was having Suicide Squad deja vu. No, you know I'm sorry. And because of that, it is not as good. Take out that part, redo that end, and and Wonder Woman is a phenomenal, if not perfect, movie. Sure. But that third act makes it just it, it, garbage. I, and and I just feel like Aquaman. Like there was nothing about Aquaman that was exceptional. You know what they did? They created. A whole new universe, a whole new world that we haven't seen done from Marvel or DC. We're finally interacting with the ocean. I love how Aquaman did his woo 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 woo, woo talking to the fish with the, yeah. the circles like from yeah. Super Friends. I was like, it, it, it was good. And and Jason Momoa really turned that man, character around. Man, he sold around. you. And, he's a, he's a, just a good looking man. No, it's not that, dude. It's not that. No, I'm saying I think it was. Just yeah, Jason Momoa was distracting. They did do a lot of like like sexy scenes of him. Yeah. Like you know, especially on the submarine when we first see him for the sure. first time, they like close up of, of oh, his face. Oh, that was awful. Yeah. Yeah, like hey, look at me, sexy ladies. Sexy looks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not just ladies. Yeah. That man was looking good, man. Look, I'm not gonna lie though. This is the second time I saw Aquaman. The first time I saw it with Batsy, and of course Batsy's like like laughing, clappy. He's he's the clapping type in the movies. Oh Jesus. Uh, yeah, but I had a girl sit next to me that I I don't even know is a stranger, and and. And no lie, when when Momoa came onto the sub, you just heard her and her friends go like, "Oh, oh, 
oh, and I, I saw an article headline the other day like Aquaman, the movie your mom wants to take you to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's a good looking dude. Yeah, and he's married to uh, Lenny Kravitz's ex, the girl from Cosby Show. Oh, really? What's her name? She was in uh, Lisa Bonet. Yes, Lisa Bonet. They got kids together and everything. Oh wow. Yeah. Lucky her. And she's like, she's got to be 10, 15 years older than him. Yeah, right? man. Yeah, yeah she's like not that. young. Yeah. See, I he fucked up. He should have married Khaleesi. Mm-hmm. Oof. Ugh. I don't know. Lisa Bonet's kind of. I don't know. I'm all, she's hot. I'll dude. take Khaleesi over a lot of people. Um, but so, so Aquaman, uh, you know, here's what I don't get. So they do a sequel. Black Manta will be in it. Is Black Manta a good enough villain to carry the film as no. the main character? No, and they made sure of that. So who's the main who? And I've I've been reading Aquaman comics for a long time. I don't I don't know who it is. Listen, I'll say this too. Great job showing the different kingdoms, showing the trench. If yeah. you guys are fans of the Jeff Johns Aquaman run, you know th- we we got introduced to the trench in that, and like basically just the 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 Atlanteans that. That fell and and evolved into savage beasts. Devolved. Devolved. Yes, devolved. And then you have you, the the crab people. South Park. You know <laughs> that that were they were the crab people. They were the crab people. Crab people. people. Crab people. Dude, when I watched that episode, that was the queer eye episode. Yeah, right? that was. And all of a sudden, the crab people popped up. I was right. like, "What the fuck is going on?" So great. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm actually on South Park Destroyer. My group that I'm part with is crab people. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm in a Morgan Freeman. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. This isn't about South Park. This is about Aquaman. Um, you guys are better served by watching South Park. South Park's greatest show ever. Season three, four, and five. Not three. Four, five, and six. Five might be the best. Five is probably the best. Th- yeah. Is that when Butters got introduced? God, Butters is such a good character. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I'm just thinking about South Park right now. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got to get back into the sea. Back into the sea. What do you think of his dad? Um. Whatever. Nicole Kidman as uh his his his, his mom. Oh, as the badass, super fighting, super smart woman who sacrifices it all to save everyone, including the dumb idiot husband man that sits on the pier. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Can you see Wansky's theme here? Anyways, um, it's not my theme. Like, tell me I'm wrong. No, no, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they didn't kill Ocean Master, spoilers, so we can see him again, Orm was his name. All right. Uh, and, and then also if you guys were a fan of the Jeff Johns, uh, uh, run, there was the Asian gentleman who was an expert on Atlantean culture, which we saw in this movie at all, who also rescued Black Manta. Um, Wonski said something amazing to me, and I'm kind of disappointed they didn't do it, and I didn't even think about it until he said it, is how great would it be in the cutscene, because the cutscene we see Black Manta get rescued, if he got rescued by Lex Luthor for the Legion of Doom. Yeah. And the fact that they, either they were going to do that and they decided not to because they because decided scrap to the scrap universe. the Legion of Doom, uh, but if they did that, I would have been all in. Yeah. Like, it would have made the movie ten times better if Deathstroke and Lex Luthor were there. Yeah, to to pull him out. To pull him out yeah. on on Lex's huge yacht that we see at the end of Justice League. Because you don't necessarily have to. I mean, we're patient and we've been taught now to to believe in these universes. You don't have to have separate individual. Like, why don't you just do it like the comics, where you have the main event and you have the side stories. So the Legion of Doom could have rescued, build Legion of Doom for the next Justice League movie, and in the side movie. You know, for Aquaman Part 2, you have him dealing with, like, trying to deal with Black Manta. And Black Manta could get the support of the Legion of Doom, so then you can have other characters that are not necessarily Aquaman villains in an Aquaman movie. Yeah, and, and in a sense, that's what the MCU has been doing. Right. That's what Marvel has been doing. They've they've had their standalone movies, but then they've had little th- snippets uh, somewhere in the movie that tie everything together to lead up to something bigger. Sure. like a, Like a comic book. Right, which is yeah. where, where you could have... Aquaman 2 and Wonder Woman 2, you could have them concentrate on different members of the Legion of Doom or trying to solve a certain issue. Yeah. And which is what's great about that is that then you could have some of these movies like Aquaman not necessarily have to ha- end in a happy manner. Actually, and you could you could Empire Strikes Back it. Yes. And to be fair, guys, if you guys didn't know spoilers, Cheetah, who's in Wonder Woman 1984, is also in the Legion of Doom. Yes, Cheetah is in the Legion of Doom. Yes, as is Black Manta, as Deathstroke's not, but whatever. Sheeta looks just like Shatara, right? 
It's the same thing. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Uh, Damien, who do you like more, Cheetah or Chitara? Sex Panther pick Cheetah. There you go. I kind of like Chitara. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, Aquaman is out in theaters now. They've been showing previews of it, so pre-screenings are for the last two weeks, so it feels like it's been out. It for feels a- like all these movies have been out for a month. Yeah, I, pre-screenings are like the new thing, it seems, like this I in the guess. past three or four months. They're like, hey guys, everyone go watch this movie early now. Like, <coughs> I don't know. Uh, and it, the More reason- people I know, per- and I don't know a lot of people, have already seen these movies. I know. Like, one, you're going to enjoy it or not enjoy it. I'm like, what the fuck? And they didn't pirate it either. They actually went to a movie theater and got a ticket to go see it. Yeah, it's not like they put it up in the comic book store and pirate it. Yeah. (laughs) I know, right? Because that'd be illegal. Nah. Completely wrong and not a good way to support the industry. Yeah, agreed. Uh, So, (laughs) Aquaman is out in theaters, guys. The next DC movie to come out is Shazam, which we saw a preview for that in every single... We saw the same preview three times yesterday for a bunch of different movies. Shazam looks awful. Shazam looks great. King of Monsters, I'm there day one. King of Monsters looks good. And uh, Luke Cage is doing a Jesus movie. Luke Cage is doing a Jesus movie with, I'm uh, in. with, with, with Kate from This Is Us. Yeah, I'm all about it. Uh, you can go watch that one. I'm going to pass on that one. Are we going to do a review? No, you can do a review and I'll just sit okay, here. Yeah. Sure. That'd be hilarious, actually. Do it. All right. No, that's not. No. Anyways, uh, so go see Aquaman, guys. Once again, if you don't see these movies, they don't keep making them, or they'll or they'll totally change it up. Uh, Aquaman was good. I liked it. Juan was, you know, would you say it was okay? No, no, was, I, I didn't hate it. I just didn't like it. It's just middle of the road. It's like whatever. Okay, so this was the third movie we saw. By the time this movie was over, we were nine hours in at theaters. Uh, we watched Spider Verse first, uh, Bumblebee second, and Aquaman third. Out of the three movies, which was your favorite? No, it's Spider Verse. Mine was Aquaman. Uh, and uh, I think Aquaman is better than Wonder Woman. Wonski disagrees here. Uh, Wonski thinks Spider Verse is the best movie of the year in the superhero verse. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. disagree with that one too. Bumblebee doesn't even make the list, unfortunately, guys. No. Uh, but the Cybertron scenes are definitely better than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> like it really is amazing. Yeah. It really was just like so unexpected. Oh God. So good. The problem. You know, I know we I know we're talking Aquaman, but real quick back to Bumblebee. You know what it made me feel like? What? The, this is the the easiest comparison I can think of. You remember in Rogue One? Yeah. In the very end, where Darth, Darth Vader, Vader yeah, like yeah. enters the ship and we see Darth Vader for the first time in like fucking ass. forever. Yeah. And he was kicking ass. Yeah. That feeling you got yeah, in yeah. fucking Leia there. Yeah. That's what that part in Cybertron felt like. Yes, I agree. I agree. And the problem with that movie, too, is the previews that they showed us leading up to the release, which is today, they gave us all the good stuff in the previews the and misrepresented too. the movie, too. But anyways, that's enough about Bumblebee. We talked about that. Anyways, go see Aquaman. Go see Bumblebee. Go see Spider-Verse. Um, next movie to come out, the big next big movie to come out, I don't even know what it is. Captain Marvel, right? Because Captain Marvel happened it is be- Captain, before February. Avengers. Yeah. I think it's in February. Yeah, Captain Marvel is the we next. We got Captain Marvel, yeah. uh, then Avengers, no, and No, Captain Spider-Man. Marvel, then Shazam. Oh, okay. Then Avengers, then Godzilla. Uh, and Spider-Man Far From Home. Which is going to I, I, It's gonna be great. It is. Star Wars is next year. Next year is a big movie movie year. It really yeah. is. Every Detective year, Pikachu. Oh, God. It's going to be so good, man. Anyways, uh, so go check out the movies. Uh, check us out at our three locations. We are right here in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just uh, east of University Drive. Our second location in Miami on 107th and 8th across from FIU and our newest spot in Coral Gables on Lejeune off of US1 across from the shops in Merritt Park next to Havana Harry's. Um, like, subscribe, comment on our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics or follow us at Corker Comics any of our social channels uh, for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Stephen Corker. I'm one. Later.